Shalom. I would like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, every well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Ababa Ball. Back at it with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. So, like your Lord's will, this video is edifying. And I just want to do a lesson real quick on um, the Sabbath day. Okay. And it's crazy because I had this lesson lined up a while ago, but the spirit never had its where for, for me to bring it out. But now, you know, this topic is resurfacing. So through the spirit, I'm going to bring it out. The Lord's will, this video is edifying. And I got a list of precepts to go through. This is Ezekiel. Lord willing, the most high allows it to come out. Ezekiel 22, starting at verse 26. It says, Ezekiel 22 and 26, it says, Her priest have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things. Okay, now let's stop right there. Go to the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay, so the Sabbath is holy, right? Going back to Ezekiel 22 and 26. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shewed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profane among them. Now let's go into that word profane through the spirit. You know, Lord willing, most high lets all this come out, man. You know, the word profane is halal. All right, halal. And it says to profane, defile, pollute, desecrate, to profane oneself, profane oneself, defile oneself, pollute. Here's the point. Ritually, sexually, uh, to be polluted, be defiled. Okay? So that's the point on that right there. Okay? It says, um... So the point was the sexual part, man. All right. So a part of profaning oneself is to do it ritually, sexually. OK, so if you're having sex on the Sabbath, you're profaning yourself and you're profaning the Sabbath. Day, OK, that's going off. All right. Now I want to go into the word. Now I want to go into the scripture of first Samuel. First Samuel, chapter 21. Starting at verse. Um, three. It says, now, therefore, what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand or what there is present. OK, because King David was, uh, you know, as a pilgrim fleeing from King Saul. OK. And so he ended up going to the temple and he and he needed food. He was hungry. Verse four. And the priest answered David and said, there is no common bread under mine hand, but there is hallowed bread, hallowed meaning holy. Set apart, sanctified. Let me get that real quick. Okay. The word is kodash. All right. Hallowed, holy, set apart. Okay. It says, but there is hallowed bread. If the young men have kept themselves at least from women. Okay. So you couldn't even eat that holy bread unless you were clean. You had to be kept from women. Okay. Because really, you had to first and foremost be a Levite, okay, of that particular sect in order to eat that shoe bread. However, the priest said, all right, I got some holy bread. If you guys have at least kept yourselves from women. Going to show you that if you can't eat, if you can't eat um, hollowed bread being unclean, how much more, you know, the Sabbath day, man, profaning the Sabbath day. Okay. And not to say that. You know, eating the bread is a small thing, but I'm just trying to sh show you, you know, through the spirit. Now, let me get this quick scripture. 
all right this is exodus 19 starting at verse 9 it says and the lord said unto moses lo i come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when i speak with thee and believe thee forever and Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. The, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai and thou shalt set bounds unto the people, unto the people round about saying, Take heed to yourselves that you go not up into the mount or touch the border of it. Whosoever touches the mount shall be surely put to death. Verse 13, there shall not in hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through. Whether it be beast or man, it shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mount. Verse 14, and Moses went down from the mount unto the people and sanctified the people. And they washed their clothes and he said unto the people, be ready against the third day. Come not at your wives. Okay. And then this is the NLT. It says he told them, get ready for the third day. And until then, abstain from having sexual intercourse. Why? Because that's an unclean thing. All right. When you go into Leviticus, the 15th chapter, and the scriptures talk about if any man have a seed of copulation come out, you are unclean. Okay. You become unclean, man. All right. And the woman that you have sex with, she becomes unclean. Okay. Now, I want to go into this word real quick. Let me go back to that word uh, defile. All right. Leviticus 15 and 31. Thus shall ye separate the children of Israel from their uncleanliness that they die not and their uncleanliness, uncleanness when they defile my tabernacle that is among them. So I want to go into that word defile. The word should be tama'ah. All right. And when you go into that word defile, it says to be unclean, become unclean, become impure, to be or become unclean sexually, religiously, ceremonially, to defile oneself, be defiled sexually by idolatry, ceremonially, to be regarded as unclean, to defile a sexually, religiously, ceremonially. So the point being, sexually, you're defiling yourself. You're making yourself unclean. And that's crazy because this is Leviticus, the 15th chapter. And in this same chapter, a little further up, it talks about if a man shoots out his seed. So if you're having sex on the Sabbath day, guess what? You're unclean. And the Sabbath day is a holy day. It's hallowed. So you're supposed to keep yourself from women, just like the shoe bread. Okay? So I'm let me get the scripture. Leviticus 15 to 16. If any man's seed of copulation go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be unclean until the evening. And every garment and every skin whereon his, the seed of copulation shall be washed with water and be unclean until the evening. The woman also with whom the man with whom man shall lie with a uh, seed of copulation, they shall both bathe themselves in water and be unclean until the evening. That's the point on that right there. All right. So to become unclean is to be polluted, man. All right. And the scriptures talk about to pollute, not the Sabbath day. All right. You know. Um. Let me see if I can find it, Lord willing. This is Ezekiel 20 and 16. It says, because they despised my judgments and walked not in my statutes, but polluted my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols, man. Okay? So we're not supposed to be polluting the Sabbaths, man. All right? So that's the point on that right there you know now i want to go ahead and get this um i want to touch on this next point because you go to the book of isaiah 58 and 13 it says if thou turn away thy foot from the sabbath from doing thy pleasure on my holy day and call the sabbath a delight the holy 
of the Lord honorable and shall honor him and not doing thine own ways nor finding thy or pleasure thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words then shalt thou delight thyself in the lord and i will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of jacob thy father for the mouth of the lord have spoken it now you know they wanted to be slick and be like oh so eating food is a pleasure okay you're not supposed to eat on the sabbath day well the cut to that is the fact that the sabbath day is a feast day Okay, the Sabbath day is a feast day, man. All right. Um, so that would make no sense, you know. You're supposed to eat food on the Sabbath day. You know what I mean? It's a feast day. So that would really make no sense. Bear with me, Babak Shah. Uh, Now I want to get another precept. This is Isaiah 56 and verse 2. This is just uh, Saki. Isaiah 56 and 1. Thus say the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, and that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keeping his hand away from his hand from evil do, from doing any evil okay so blessed is a man that doesn't pollute the sabbath man and we went into that word pollute okay the word pollute is halal like we ran into earlier all right and it means to be to profane to defile to pollute to desecrate ritually and sexually man all right we went into that already so that's really just the point on that right there, man. So no sex on the Sabbath day. All right. So Lord's will, this video was edifying. Call Halayim Lai, Yahweh, Ba'ashim El Shai, Ba'ashim Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Every well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Baba Ball.